Hi, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Tina and I had traditional duodenal switch surgery on June 9th of 2020. I'm going to go through my stats here because I haven't done that in a while. Um, my top weight ever was 340 pounds. My weight the day that I met Dr. Shrikanth, my surgeon was Dr. Shrikanth um, in Federal Way, Washington. <clears throat> Excuse me, my, date, my weight that day was 282 pounds. Um, I had a pre-surgery diet and I lost 20 pounds, so my day of surgery weight I was 262 pounds and my weight today is 181 pounds. So I've lost 159 pounds from my very top weight and I've lost 101 pounds since I started the process with Dr. Shrikanth. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me get a drink of water. So today I want to talk a little bit about, I've talked a little bit about um, why you should not have surgery and you know, if I just have different topics that I think are interesting to people. Um, today I have five amazing things since surgery. So I need to point out before I start talking that this channel, the purpose of this channel is not to talk you into anything. It's not to talk you out of anything. I'm not, tr my, I have no, you know, I have no ulterior motive. There's nothing about anything that makes me want to convince you to have surgery or to not have surgery. That's not, that's not what I'm about. What I'm about is to just share information with people. This is just all my opinion. This is all just my experience. And I don't want, please don't read more into it than what it is. Everybody's experience is different. I promise. Even with the exact same surgery, exact same surgeon, it's, it can be completely different. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I just say my little spiel because that, that always weighs heavily on my heart when I talk about these things. Um, so five amazing things that's happened to me since my surgery. Um, the first amazing thing that's happened to me is my health. Um, and I've met, shared on my channel before that I have multiple sclerosis. So I, um, and I've had that for 20 plus years. Um, which affects my mobility and it, it, I have a lot of trouble with um, energy and um, I just have a lot of really bad fatigue all the time um, and that hasn't really changed a lot. I still kind of have that issue. I sleep a lot um, but, this, but since I've had my surgery and I've lost 159 pounds, um, since I've done that I have been a little, it's been better. I feel better even I don't have that drowsy, um, weighed down feeling that I always had before. And, um, I have, you know, more because of that, it's, I just, I can get around a little bit better and it, it's, it's awesome. Um, also I have asthma. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but I do have asthma before my surgery. I had an inhaler. I had a, and I was using twice a day and then a, a, an as needed inhaler. So I had two different in, inhalers. I had one that I used in the morning and night before I went to bed and then one that I used as needed throughout the day in my, you know, in my purse or whatever. And I haven't had to use an inhaler in at least, probably a year. And my surgery has been, th it's been 15 months since I had my surgery. So I haven't used an inhaler once in a, a year, which is amazing to me. I haven't had to gra grasp for breath. I haven't, um, I don't know. I just, some of these things happen and you don't even realize that they're happening. You don't even realize that I haven't used my inhaler in a year. Um, and then I was looking in my, my medicine cabinet and I realized I had all these inhalers and they haven't been touched. <laughs> and that's amazing. That's really amazing. And that feeling, if you've ever had asthma, or if you ever have any kind of respiratory, anything where you feel like you can't get your breath, that's a terrible, terrible feeling. So not having that anymore is wonderful. Wonderful. Just that alone is worth the surgery to me. Um, okay, so that's the first thing, my health. Uh, number two, so self-control. So this is kind of like, um, it, this is, okay. I, so if you're, before surgery, I, I felt like I didn't have any control over my eating. I felt like I, um, I would, you know, get into diet plans. I would register for a diet plan. I would pay for a diet plan. I would spend a lot of money on different things that would help me, help me hopefully lose weight. And they never, it never worked. And towards the end, you know, it had been so many years, 30 plus years, 40 years of dieting and failing on diets. And I just had, I just got to the point where I just felt like I just can't control this. I can't control my weight. I can't control, I mean, I just, I, 
in my mind I can control it. I, you know, um, logically I feel like I can control it, but I just really can't control it. I really can't control myself as far as food is concerned. I don't understand portions. I don't understand that I don't have to feel full all the time. I used to have to feel very full to be satisfied. And since I had my surgery, feeling very full isn't a comfortable feeling. So I don't, that isn't a, that's never a goal anymore. I never want to get full. Um, and so I have control. I feel like I have a lot more control over my health and I feel like I have a lot more control over myself and I can take care of myself. I can manage this and that's a great feeling. I feel empowered to take care of myself. Um, number three, and this is kind of a, uh, oh, what's the word? Mm -hmm. I don't know. This is kind of a thing where it's a little bit showy offy, I guess. Um, clothes. I've mentioned before how, what a big deal clothes are to me. And I previously always had, I, you know, I worked in a almost professional setting and uh, I worked in, I was always a social in social services, but I was working in an office setting for a while. And so I had to, you know, kind of present myself well. And so I would buy the best clothes that I could. I would, you know, I would try really hard to look as nice as possible. I would, you know, I did wore jewelry, wore a lot of accessories because that helped, you know. Um, always had nice purses, always had nice bags and stuff. So that, and my hair always, I felt looked fairly good so that it would hopefully in my mind take less, you know, you wouldn't notice my body as much. Um, but one thing that I've noticed re since I've started, since I lost all this weight, when I try on clothes, before I was trying on clothes, my goal was to cover everything up. So I, I needed to cover up the, my hips, I needed to cover up my t belly, my thighs, I needed everything to be covered for me to want to buy a, an item of clothing. That was the main thing I was looking for. So a lot of lo black pants, a lot of um, just dark clothing and whatever it took to cover myself up. And now I want to find clothes that are cute and that I like. and. Um, and it's really fun. It's and it it seems kind of like a not a real deep thing to worry about, but for me it, it was and it still is and I still love clothes. And it's really kind of weird right now because I'm still losing and I'm still kind of, you know, I'm thinking about getting skin surgery and that's going to affect my sizing and everything. So I don't want to invest a lot of money in clothes right now. Um but it's still so much fun to go shopping for, you know, I, you know, I just go to some place inexpensive or even to go to the Valley Village or something like that where I can get secondhand clothes, which is really a really good um, strategy when you're losing weight um, to just go and try on clothes that you didn't think you'd fit into. I mentioned in one of my recent cha recent videos that I didn't realize what size I was. And so I just you get the big size because that's what you're used to putting on and you just keep trying smaller sizes and then you stop at a certain point. But then something happens and you try something really small like a size six and that fits <laughs> and that had that experience recently so just thinking that wow i fit into a size six and or eight or whatever it is just a normal clothing size is such a big deal to me and i know it's not the same for everybody i know everybody doesn't have that same feeling but for me that that's really really important that really motivates me and makes me feel good um number four um so I feel like I've always been a really good mom and I've always been a really good wife and I've always been a really good friend. I feel like that's always been something that was a priority for, priority for me and um, it's always been really important to me. But I've, there were, I had so many limitations before and I couldn't, I was, there was you know, so much that I wouldn't even, for, there's an example I had, my husband and I went to, um, we went to Mount Rainier one day and we we were really excited to go. I was 300 some pounds, um, but I really wanted to go to Mount Rainier. I really wanted to take some pictures and just see how pretty it was and everything. And and we were walking and I, I could not keep my balance. So my husband was holding on to me, which my husband's very strong um, and he didn't have any problem doing that, but it was so awkward and I felt so bad because I could tell after after a certain point it wasn't fun for him anymore. He was worried about me falling. He was worried about me 
not being comfortable, like that took away from the experience. Me worrying about him worrying about me, right? <laughs> but still, just if you think about the whole dynamic of trying to live your life and do fun things and be a, a great, good wife and a good mom and a good person for the people that you love and not being able to do just f simple fun things. I mean, you can do them, but it, it, your, my weight took away from it. And so um, that's, that's been amazing for me and I just appreciate that. I still have so many mobility issues. It's ridiculous, but, that, but I'm doing the best I can and it has made a huge difference losing that much weight. Losing 150, 59 pounds it's a lot, made a huge difference in my mobility. So I'm very, very happy about that. And then the number five reason that this has been five amazing things since surgery, the number five one, and I, I know that if you're a dieter like I am, if you or I was, if you are somebody that has spent your life worrying about your weight, you will understand this. But I am no longer, and this has taken me a good year, year plus to get to this point, but I'm no longer obsessed with weight. I'm no longer obsessed with my diet. I'm, not, I'm no longer... Um, stressed about it. I'm not constantly trying to figure out what can I do. I'm const constantly looking online about how I can shred, shed these pounds, how I can fix it, how I can get, you know, it's just this whole lifestyle that I had where I was just constantly trying to lose weight. That was my whole life. And I don't have that anymore. I don't, I'm not constantly trying to lose weight. I'm, I'm, it's, I'm losing weight and it's just happening. And it's not something I have to obsess about or think about or worry about all the time. It's just, I had surgery and it's happening. And that's it. I mean, I, you know, I, you all know I'm not really to where I want to be yet. I still want to lose a good, probably 20 pounds plus before I get skin surgery. I'm still carrying a lot of weight in my thighs, but I, it's going to happen anyway. It's happening. I have faith in it. I, I had a great surgery. I have a great surgeon. Um, and I know it's going, I know it's happening. So I know I'm losing. I can feel it. My, my skin is, I mean, it's, probably weird people that haven't had surgery before but the reason I can tell I'm still losing weight is that my skin is changing on my thighs like every day it's looser and that's a good mark for me <laughs> believe it or not that's a good thing um so I just appreciate that I can focus on life I can focus on the present I I've been reading a little bit of books about you know being present and being mindful and um just living life for, for right now instead of always worrying about the future, always planning for the future. Some some part of you has to just enjoy your life right now. And I'm so glad I'm, I'm to that point where I'm thinking about things right now and not stressing about the past or the future or whatever it is. You know, it's a, it's a huge mind shift. And I wish that for you. If you are um, on the fence about surgery or if you've had surgery or you're going through this process where you're thinking about maybe you will, um, being mindful and be living in the moment is something that I think everybody should work on and strive for regardless of surgery, regardless of weight, regardless of weight, weight loss. But for me, it, having surgery has really helped with that. So anyway, <laughs> I hope this makes sense. You know, I'm just, I just kind of made some notes that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you if you did, please subscribe to my channel and please like this video. Um, and I will see you on Friday. I'm doing a, a, a couple of people have requested I do another what I eat in a day. So I'm going to do a what I eat in a day for Friday. So stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, I hope you're taking care of yourself and I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching my video. Bye.